rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. Do you feel like the rappers are wrong for that? Kinda. They can do whatever they want. So when you make the videos about it, you take part in that. No, because I'm saying, I'm saying it. this isn't cool. I you sat gotta... down in the studio with a rapper the other day and he's talking about, yo, he's playing me a song where he's talking about this person got died and we're smoking. I'm saying, bro, why don't you not do that? I dare you to do a, a two second video where the title is some crazy shit that happened in rap and you're like, I'm not covering this bullshit. What do you mean? It's stupid. Oh, well, I'd just be like, I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Why would I do that? This, this shit is <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, Just see what I'm saying? I rest my case. Oh, no. Here's You're the like... thing though. I feel like everybody acts like they, they feel like, oh, we should just not talk about it and just not talk about hip hop. Like, that's like saying, oh, but they no, should shut down hip Sports Center because if you're not playing sports, he has the gall to think that rap that... deserves the same level of introspection that like serious art gets. That's all that this is, is him actually like taking these rappers seriously. Nah, in a genre that hasn't really been taken seriously it's the all rappers, often. It's the rappers that he's taken seriously. Like, you know, Razzcast just dropped the whole project, but there'll be no video about that. That's one of our better lyricists, but nobody's going to talk about and that. And why is that? Yeah, well, I mean, I ain't heard the story. Oh, but you're not interested in asking. You don't I'm think, a storyteller. You don't think, but... What, you what? just told me 10 seconds ago about this guy. Razz like, has... What, but, oh my God. Get him, Mac. That's even worse. <laughs> Why? That's even get, worse. I, I, I'm not going to know every artist ever. I no, know about Raskas, but I don't judge you in the slightest for not. Like, you're you're significantly Switch younger shit. than me. No, no I don't want to switch shit. Yeah, Sit your ass down. I want to slice a pizza. Do your thing. He warmed it up for you. Where the fuck are you going? Yo, go. Go. He needs a backup, man. Go. You hot right now. You hot. I need a lot of things in this life. Backup is not one of them. All right. All right. Um. If we're, if we're, again, I'm, I, I want you, I don't want you to get it, his, the content he makes has absolutely zero to do with what I believe his intentions are. I think there are a lot of well-meaning people who find a way to, the average person who works at the label, they're not out here thinking that they're spreading death and destruction throughout the black community. That's not what they're doing with mm -hmm. the, the guy who's an accountant at the label, the guy who's in marketing at the label. Those people are maybe cogs in the machine, but they're not going to work every day with, all right, we're going to fuck some shit up in the black community today. Right. No, their intentions are not that. Most people are just trying to feed their families. But black people sell trauma, a lot of it, all the time. We don't sell it, yo, Max. All the time. There, there are no... Um... And there are shit tons. Even the people that you just mentioned to me. Murders as in children witnessing murders firsthand. These are traumatized people running around who, who, because of the world we live in, are being commodified to sell that trauma and package it to people who will never experience it closer than this. Right. That's storytelling. Those people are responsible for that. What is writing a book? You know, it's like sharing experiences with people that maybe haven't lived through it but want to understand. Sure. You blame people for wanting to understand some of the most popular rappers of our time and what their lives were really like. Absolutely not. The most not. obvious human urge you can think of. Absolutely not. And again, we're down to intention. We're, 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 we're going back in a circle here. I've already but you said the intention doesn't matter. No, I said intention definitely matters. That's the opposite of what I said. But I'm saying that My I think his intentions and the which way is, that he puts his content together blaming, is which respectful. Which is why I'm not getting at you about your no, intention. Trap, trap, you I said you're some well bullshit. meaning. That's you been doing I'm some saying. bullshit sometimes. Like what? Come on. People never want to give me examples, man. Okay. Um, London Bloods and Crips. Why do you have a, a blue rag on your face and a red rag in your aiming gun? Hey, I'll keep it real. Why I'll actually you give you the that? actual reason for that because I was trying to find a picture of the London Bloods and Crips and every picture from that era was so low quality. So you dressed up like one? I threw. I did throw on the rag for the thumbnail. Come on, bro. Like, come on. Like on G I am British. On. As British Bloods and Crips, I'm British. I, mm. I, I, I don't know. Is that so bad? Yes, that you threw on the rag and I you were like this in the camera? I dyed my hair rainbow for Takeshi 6 9 like, oh, That's no. different. We don't, we don't take that shit. <laughs> I put the Crip Max tattoos on my face. I got the C-Mac tats. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, no, that's it's, it's, that's it's, it's storytelling. It's all, it's, it. all, it's all fun and games and pageantry when, when you can tell a story from the outside. It's a little bit different for the people who are living the story. I ain't, I ain't denying that. No, that's, that's what I've been saying. Our children are going to be affected different from your children. I care about I care about our children. He's got kids. I care, I care about, about my kids. children. Like I, I don't want my kids to grow up thinking gangbang is super cool, and it's a great way to go about your life. Well, no, what, no, what, what if that's all they want to talk about? I'm trying to educate them. Try and put some documentaries that have a thoughtful approach to this. Nah, content they're gonna rather than like, no, dad, you did it. 
Hell no, that. that's not going to say. Yeah, it's yeah, Von, yeah. It, Von made the shit look cool. I'm making the shit look fucked up. That's the way mm. I see it, honestly. And it's, it's, that's my intention. Like, and again, I feel like it's just... Some, like at some point, I feel like some rappers got to take some responsibility. I, I, they they yeah. all take responsibility. We get it all of them. We get it all of them. There are tons of peace movements in Chicago. Yeah. Common is doing, doing everything. Common's been talking that shit since the 90s trying to bring attention to what happens. That we all, everybody gets at them. They need some rappers. Yeah. Like I said, everybody gets at them. We need, we need, who, we need who, who was here? Who, about who do we beat. have in here who what? is from Chicago who we talked to? Um, Light skin boy. Who was that? Herbo. Be Bezo. G Herbo. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I thought you were talking about that. Though. Completely. No, he's from Detroit. Bro, we we okay. You dig what I'm saying? It's it's not a matter. I'm I'm not there but, are th this is not this is not single coverage. This is not one size fits all. There are nuances here. There's your intention, mm. there's your action, there are the consequences. How it started may not be how it finishes. And I'm not trying to make you mm. responsible for your idea of what you're doing. I'm not anti anybody trying to make a living. However, consequences are coming down that you may not see. And I need to make you aware of the fact that we see them because Trap. we live here. What consequence am I responsible for? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before we even get into that. Trap, have you ever thought about doing a story on the labels who sign these rappers, have them under a, a, a life insurance policy? And make billions of dollars off of their deaths. Well, I've heard about that. Mm -hmm. That's the one that. everyone points the finger at Empire. There's been a bunch of videos made about it. How they? But can anyone prove that? I'm not going to point the finger at Empire, but I will say, it is Empire. The one everyone says though, because Empire is willing to give certain artists a chance. I don't think Empire is responsible for how they live their lives. However, they give these artists a chance, but the benefit that they receive after their death is probably more money than they would have sold if they they sold millions of records. Can you oh, just take cool. out a life insurance policy on anyone? Because it's basically like gambling on someone dying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you look down on somebody for like literally placing a bet on someone dying? I would if they encouraged they encouraged the method of death. Yeah, because if you go out into the world and start encouraging people to kill this person, if, if then that's no, different. But, media, but in general, I don't really see what's wrong with the placing media a bet on the society on event, taking courage, place, right? It. Like you did the you did the the, the story on Kendrick meeting Obama, mm -hmm. and it get a lot of views. No, you do the killing shit, blows the fuck up. But you can't say I didn't I didn't do both. So artists, Meek Mill, we've heard him say, "Yo, when I do conscious records, they don't they don't move the same way as the violent shit." Mm -hmm. So it's like you you you're, you're fighting with, all right, do I support my family and make this money this way? Mm -hmm. Or do I go broke trying to do the right thing? It's a catch-22. But I would like to see you get in depth the mm -hmm. same way you did, did research and all that other shit. Like, yo, are these labels doing this purposely? Yeah. and But I do do other stuff. I feel like some people forget I do other stuff. I did like damn near three hours on Kim and Kanye's whole relationship. Ain't nobody's dropping that whole thing. And like, <laughs> I, that was I viral. And that, that, was still, Kanye, that still popped off. Right. That, that one popped off. Of course, it's Kim and Kanye. So that guy, I'm doing the other stuff, but look, I, I get what you're saying. But if your intention is to kind of like debunk all this shit, then you got to kind of, at some point, you got to point the finger at the motherfuckers that's making the most money off of this shit. And it's not the rappers. It's not the rappers. The label, yeah. No, but that's why I'm saying, that's why I'm saying we got to bring that same energy to Empire, because Empire is the one everybody says is doing the thing, and it, it makes it's you not, wonder. Not just, yeah, from my not perspective, Empire. Empire is helping all these people. Like yeah, these, out of the these rappers, more than any other label, I will have conversations with them, and they will all be very, very appreciative of Empire's role in their career. Yeah, of course, because they they got an opportunity from Empire that they wouldn't get from another label. Right, Empire's in the same boat as me, where they're actually willing to like invest and take these rappers seriously, right? But even then, if for me, it's just my time of sitting down and having a conversation with like a drill rapper or underground dude or whatever. Like Empire's taking on that risk and that's why they get these conspiracy theories that's like look at these eight people who died from empire or whatever you know right i yeah. think it's bullshit but then are they making the money does that money go to the they're making money family? together the way that anybody who enters into a partnership now you can enter into a partnership with somebody who's at a relatively high risk of dying as a result of their lifestyle mm -hmm. i don't really See, like a, look down on the label for taking part in that right I, no so, definitely removing no. your morality is it a good business decision 
to to support somebody and give them money, especially somebody who's living this dangerous lifestyle. That's not like, a good business and, No, decision. and then putting a putting a life insurance policy on them that you're gonna make a whole shit ton Do of money. Do we know that though? They don't even need the life insurance. Yeah, but that, 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 that doesn't answer the that, question. It's like when Pop Smoke died. It's like they don't need no life insurance policy. The life insurance policy is the catalog which they pimped to the max with those two posters. But they albums. still would have been no, they, in a way better business position policy. if he had not. They probably, died. I don't know if they got the policy, but maybe they do. But they don't even need it because they're gonna make so much money off of the posthumous stuff. So they're incentivized for the artist to die. You're, you're, under, you're underestimating the the uh, the attraction of greed. Yeah, but I'm saying they're greedy. No, I'm, I'm saying. No, you're saying they're, they're gonna make they're gonna make that money. But why? How many, did, how many people greed thought, means make that money and that money too. How many people thought Suge killed too. Tupac? Huh? How many people thought Suge killed Tupac? You got to be astonishingly dumb to think he paid people to shoot at the car that he was it, in. But yeah, that's, public that's perception is a motherfucker. How many people thought it? <sighs> I mean, hey. That's an example of something that really could convince you that the average person is pretty fucking dumb. Yeah. Because absolutely nobody's paying someone to shoot at a car that they are in. Yeah, Make sure you shoot me too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so. Yo, graze me in the head, no dude. Come on. Make it look you gotta crazy. You got to make this official. You got to graze me, motherfucker. crazy. I don't think that's what shooting somebody's like. You get right. to like pinpoint exactly what part right, of him stay you still, hit. Stay still, stay still. <laughs> stay still, Adam. Yeah. Ah, I got him. Yeah, at the end of the day, we lost Pac behind that. Yeah, it's rest in peace, Pop. That's my that's my rest point. That's all everybody. of them, man. Yeah, that's that's Pop that's what sucks about everybody, it. man. Fuck you, Keefy D. You know, if if, if hey. how did you feel when you saw his interviews with Vlad? It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.